Okay, grade 11, in today's video, we are going to do a, another question paper that contain a cash budget. So please make sure that you are part of this channel. Let us grow together, guys, by just subscribing, by liking video. I really appreciate your support. Okay, so let's proceed with our video. Okay, so question one, they said that complete the data collection schedule for September and October. 10 marks 4.2.2 complete a cash budget for september and october 20 marks so some of the information as you can see uh, we are already given okay so now let's read information number one collection of data is according to the following pattern 30 percent of data settled in their account during the transaction months of sales to receive five percent discount for prompt payment in other words they are saying that 30 percent is paid in the same month if they purchase september they're gonna pay on september okay 40 percent on the following month 25 percent on the other months and five percent is written off as bad debt okay summary of transaction we have case sales credit purchase rent income and salaries then they give us a figures there then a case sales are 25 percent of total sales which means that 75% is credit sales, okay? Credit purchase are 50% of total sales, which means that other 50% are cash purchase, okay? I think that's the information that we can use to compile our data collection schedule. So they give us a credit sales for July, August, September, but for October, no, they didn't provide it to us. How are we going to calculate it for October? Very simple. If you check, October, we have a case sales of 280,000. And remember, they said this case sales is 25%, which means that in order for us to get this balance, we must say 230. We are going to say 230. Because we don't have total sales, we are going to use case sales. And said we are looking for 75%, and we have 25%. You don't say 75%. My blood by 100 because this is not total sales but it's what is cash sales okay so if you do this calculation it's gonna give you six night six night then now we have our creditors sales okay we have credit sales then now we can calculate this site okay which means that we are going to use what our table they say that percent uh, is going to pay on the same month September is going to pay on September, which means that here is 30%. Okay? But remember, there is a 5% discount, which means that we are going to say 720. Okay, I'm just going to show conclusion here. We are just going to say 720 multiplied by 30% and multiplied by 95 over 100. Why 95? Because this person is going to pay 95 percent not 100 because of five percent discount we subtract five percent from 100 and we're left with 95 okay and if you do this calculation you're gonna get two or five thousand which means that the following month now is the following percent which is 40 percent 40 percent of 720 is gonna give you 288 288 thousand simple guys you just said 720 my blah by 40 percent and there is no issue of discount here on the following month okay then if we have november we were going to use 25 percent okay but it's not be going to be applicable here all right now let's proceed we have october october vs october is going to be the same month of 30 percent and is also issue of discount Okay, we're gonna use 690 mapla by 30% and mapla by 95 over 100, which is going to give us a, an amount of let's calculate 196, 196, 650. Okay, that's how we should calculate it. Then after that, now you can calculate total this side and this side. Okay, this side is going to give us 
650 just like that okay now let's proceed now because we already get the figures for collection schedule we are just going to paste it on our cash budget collection from debtors and we copy for september we copy to september it's gonna be six five five two hundred and six seven two one fifty so for cash sales they already give us 240 for the other months and now for the other months we have to do what to write it if you check this amount is given on your summer number b to date for october to date max for free this one okay and rent income is also given for september and october 15000 and 15000 just like that okay then let's proceed i think we are done here we're gonna get our totals then we we'll go to payment side okay a total is going to be 910 200 and another one is 917150 very simple okay now let's proceed to payment schedule okay on the payment side remember we have a credit purchase and a cash purchase let's start with cash purchase because it's the one that is most simple because they say credit purchase are 50 percent of total sales which means that even cash purchase are 50 percent which means that if on october on september a cash purchase was 65,000, which means that even cash purchase was 65,000, the one that is given then october which means that we are just going to copy 85,000. 85,000. okay let's Im indicate here payment to creditors is credit purchase purchase of stock is cash 50 percent the other side and 50 percent the other side which means that the amount they're the same the bit different is that on the credit payment we have to read additional information number c creditors are paid one month after purchase which means that the one that purchased on september will be paid on october this one was a purchase of the previous month august if you check on august it was eighty thousand. then it has been paid on september the one that purchased on september is sixty five thousand, which is going to be paid on october okay just simple as that simple as that okay it's gonna be how much it's gonna be eighty five thousand eighty five thousand eighty five thousand okay then okay apology not eighty five thousand sixty five thousand the one of uh, september is go to october if you check it, eh, 65,000. Nah, it's correct. All right, let's proceed. Let's proceed. So, uh, we are done with payment to creditors, which is paid one month after. One month after. One month after simply means that you take the one for previous month and you record it on the current month. Simple as that. For cash, you record exactly the same month because cash payment will take it same time okay now let's proceed let's proceed to the next one the next one uh, we are going to deal with drawings let's go to additional information number d the with the following withdrawals are made by monthly by the owner okay this a uh, transition made each and every month Okay, number one, he took a cash to pay his son school fees. That's a drawings. And he also take 
a trading stock of 2,800. But now because we are dealing with cash budget that deal with only cash item, we're going to focus on cash, which means that the trading stock, we are not going to include it. We're going to include only 7,500, which is occurring every month. Okay, trading stock, ignore it because it's not cash. Okay. Then the following one is uh, advertising. Advertising is calculated at 1% of the previous month of total sales. Of total sales, not cash sales or not credit sales. Total sales. Okay. Let's do advertising for September. For September, we took the previous one for, 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 for August. In August, if you check, the cash sales is 250. This 250 is cash sales. We must first convert it back to total sales. It's 100% over 25. We are, we are reversing it to total. And we're going to get amount. And after that, you multiply by 1%. Then you will get amount for, for September, uh, which is going to give you how much? is gonna um, give you ten thousand it's gonna give you ten thousand simple as that in other words guys they're saying that the amount that we pay for advertisement for this month we check how much we made previous month and we calculate one percent from that amount but it must be total sales not credit sales not cash sales total sales okay then for october we must take total sales of September. Okay. For September, we have 240 of credit sales. 240 of cash sales, I mean, which means that we must hit 100%, 100 over 25. Then we multiply by 1%. Then it will give us the correct amount. Very simple. It's going to be 9,600. 9,600, just like that, okay? Salaries, they give us for September, and they want us to calculate for, for October. Okay, for October, the, number F, they said all employees will receive salary increase of 6% at, at the end of October. Okay, it was 75,000, which means that when we go this side, we are going to say 75,000, multiply by um, i want the one that will give us straight to the answer guys over 100 106 of 100 or you can just say 75,000 multiply by 6 percent you get the answer and you add it with 75,000 then you're still gonna get the same then it's gonna give you 79 6 500 okay 500 just like that okay now I think we are done with everything and the total payment for this month it was two two thirty seven five hundred and this month two forty six six hundred okay then now the last part uh, surplus and deficit you just see total receipts minus total payment it will give you surplus of six seven two seven hundred and you minus with opening it was given then it will give you a closing of five forty five two hundred this closing should be opening of next month five forty five two hundred opening for this month closing for this month is opening for next month simple then you do the same procedure this one minus this one it will give you 670 550 and the balance it will be 1,215,000 and seven fifty. then you will be done with your cash budget so i hope you learn something guys go to playlist and check another paper two questions that i have already compiled See you next time. I hope you subscribe and you like this video and you are also sharing with friends who are doing grade 11 so that you can go to grade 12 together. Even grade 12 videos, guys, they are available on this channel. You will still learn next year. See you next time.